welcome to java forum today we are going to see how to manually partition the hard disk in red hat enterprise linux 6 in virtualized environment so first i am creating the virtual machine here i'm allocating 16 gb ram to this virtual machine now i am going to allocate 160 gb hard disk now the virtual machine is created successfully so i am once again I review my settings now I am allocating the processor core to be 6 processor core so storage I am selecting red dot enterprise linux iso file so that it will boot from this iso file So network adapter I am changing accordingly to my environment. Now the virtual machine is created successfully. I am going to start the virtual machine make sure that you have enough space in your hard disk and you have enough processor core to allocate now the virtual machine is getting started so now we are going to start the installation the installation will be manual partitioning of a hard disk we are going to partition 160 gb virtual drive with 16 gb ram so i'm skipping the media test installation screen had arrived now i'm clicking next button so English I am selecting as my language so basic storage devices I am selecting selecting my time zone now so now I am giving my root password yes now you select the create custom layout so this will partition the hard disk uh, manually so now I am selecting the free space 160 GB uh, and I am clicking the create button so here I am selecting the standard partition so create so first partition I am uh, creating a root partition and the file system type will be ext4 file system type so and this will be the primary partition so I am allocating 22 GB space to this root partition so again I am going to create another mount point here this mount point will be home directory so as file system will be ext4 I am alloc allocating 10 GB space to this home directory so now it is created home directory is created 
so again i am going to create another mount point so mount point will be slash tmp same ext4 file system i am allocating 10 gb to this slash tmp so slash tmp is a temporary space for an operating system so again i am going to create slash usr the mount point will be slash usr and this uh, this directory is a very important directory where most of the software installations will be installed so i am allocating 16 gb to this slash usr directory so again i am creating another partition slash var so i am allocating 10 gb to slash var here the variable data like log files etc will be saved in slash var so again creating another mount point it will be slash user slash local so i am allocating 10 gb to this to, to this mount point so i am going to create another one so this will be slash opt here i am going to allocate 25 gb because i am going to use slash opt as my software installation folder so slash opt also created so still some free space are there again i am creating so here i am going to allocate 26 gb to my swap space so uh, in future i may use very memory hungry applications so i am allocating 26 gb swap partition so swap partition also created successfully so remaining spaces i'm going to create one more partition so this partition will be i am giving name slash softwares so this will be a storage space for my installation binaries so i am allocating 24 gb yeah still some space are there so i am allocating rest of the spaces to log files so i am creating a mount point slash log files so slash softwares and slash log files are my own directory name which is not listed in this window yes now you can see all the space are got allocated so here all the file systems all the uh, partition file system will be ext4 file system so before you partition review once again then you click the right changes button so now it is formatting the virtual hard drive and very very important note i have not allocated partition to boot boot files because as this is the virtual machine so boot files will be installed directly in slash root so here i am selecting desktop as my option So now installation will be beginning and one more thing I am reminding you once again make sure that you have enough space in your hard disk to get allocated the bigger virtual hard drive and make sure that you have enough processor core so here this virtual machine has 160 GB virtual hard drive 6 core processor 16 GB RAM allocated so now the installation is going to get completed once installation complete 
we will verify all the partitions are configured correctly so now i am rebooting my virtual machine so i have not allocated any uh, space to boot uh, boot files so, so slash boot uh, not necessary here so, so this is a virtualized en environment so boot files will be automatically installed in uh, root slash so red dot enterprise linux 6 is uh, booting successfully Good. Now I am going to configure and add that enterprise in Linux X. So this is a license agreement screen. You have to accept the license agreement. So I will register later. So now I am going to create a user. So this user will be the login user. So I'm selecting my date and time. So I'm enabling KDUM so that I have to restart my virtual machine once again. Good. So now the installation was successful. Uh, now I am logging to the user created as shown before. So now we are going to verify whether the partitions are created correctly. So now I am going to system menu. So I am checking the basic information about this machine so here the file systems tab shows what are the partitions available in this virtual machine so here you can see slash slash home slash log files slash opt slash software slash tmp slash usr slash usr slash local slash path so everything created successfully so that hard disk space also was uh, allocated correctly. Uh, so here all the file system is uh, ext4 file system. So now I am open the command prompt. So df-kh also give you gives you the information about the hard disk, and free iphone m gives you the memory ram installed and swap space so swap space 26 gb we allocated during installation so here you can see swap space is 26 gb so i am clicking i'm going to right click uh, each folder and verify the free space slash temp yes free space is 9 gb slash user right click properties yes so everything was uh, going uh, correct so you can also verify uh, the hard disk in command line and both in guy also so about this computer i will give you processor information hard disk information etc 
So custom layout is complete.